what's up guys it's navarro head trader of penny stocks club 13 it's tuesday october 13th 2020 guys and i hope everybody had a green day today um i, I had a small red day it's uh the streak is over but you know i had a good run all last week uh five green days uh i had a a, a red day today guys with uh, some swing trades and one failed day trade um and it was a it was bound to happen it happens to everyone guys so if somebody tells you that they have green days all the time they're lying to you nobody will ever will ever have green days every day that's just the way the market works and that's just the way it's gonna be but nonetheless guys it's uh how you come back from uh, your red days that matters uh, I've been having a great year so far and uh, you know the accounts have been growing steadily and uh, there will be setbacks today was one but I am very confident in my skills so you know all, all it takes is patience anticipation and sometimes just taking a step back and not over trade and not trying to force any trade so that's my plan going into tomorrow I do have a couple of swing trades that I am holding that um you know hopefully they'll they'll continue tomorrow and give me a little bit more returns so let's go ahead and, and uh, take a look at what we are currently holding and what's on watch for tomorrow guys this will be a very quick video so cei um i held it from yesterday sold today for a minor loss i jumped back in it today so i'm still holding it the reason is if you can see the daily the uptrend it's um, starting to to move upward and right now it's straddling that 180 sma which if you're new to trade trading or if you've been trading for a while you understand that if it breaks that that 180 sma it's it's a bullish signal and hopefully it can continue breaking and uh, going upward so i'm looking for this one to break over this candles high the 140 level and it's got room all the way up to two which are uh, previous rejection levels so does that mean it's going to get all the way up here no for all we know tomorrow it can open back down here or you know it, it really we we can't say we can't tell but if it does break through this level then it does have room to the two level of course i'd be profit taking along the way so you know just in case because you never know so cei guys we're holding um on a swing trade for tomorrow and as you can see it's hold, holding steady over that dollar 10 level which is really good so hopefully tomorrow it can break that 125 that 140 then and uh make it uh, its way up if we look at the five day 15 you can see how you know it's uh it, it made a huge move it retraced but right now it's it's just um that 180 sma has become a support level so hopefully you know it can continue pushing higher tomorrow uh, another swing trade that we are currently holding is this one we entered today ontx and uh let me take you to the one day three minute or to the daily so that you can see uh that it, it is an oversold pattern so it's easy to establish uh, a base and it had this big day with a relative volume increase so right now it looks like it might be a gapper for tomorrow so this is what i saw guys this is uh what i look for in uh, swing trade setups so when i called it out that it might be a possible swing trade setup it was doing this at around that 30 31 50 level and as soon as it put up this candle i put it up on the on the whatsapp group with the psc 13 members I jumped in at third right when it broke or right before it broke 3150 i jumped in at 3137 i added when it broke 3150 at 3170 i averaged up to 3157 or something like that and um i added again at the break of the high of day so i i don't have a full position because i, I had some losses today and i'll go over them in a little bit but on this one uh we're currently up as you can see it started trickling up so 
my I think my average is about 3175 let me look it up here uh, 31 3178 that's my average so we'll go from 3180 let me get the right tool here 31 3180 we're close to it right now we're up about seven to it between seven and eight percent so that's not bad for a swing trade and hopefully it'll continue pushing higher or maybe even gap up even more tomorrow so that's what we're looking at for ONTX on a current swing trade and uh, watch on watch for tomorrow guys uh, we had AMD just make a massive move today it's just started you know it really never gave me an entry here I, I was waiting for a solid pullback something like this I did start baiting here at 190 I didn't get filled and, and right now I'm not holding this one but I will have it on watch for a possible day trade tomorrow so AEMD guys a massive move and a pretty strong close over the 180 SMA today so yeah, this one should be on watch for tomorrow for possible day trade another one that's gapping up right now it's gen gen um you know just a full downtrend so nothing to look at here but the relative val volume increase is something to look at because of this move after hours guys this is where a lot of the volume start kicking in and it's currently just uh, kind of flagging so this one will be looking at a uh, possible day trade tomorrow gen uh what else is on watch for tomorrow i have a few here i have nndm this one was one on the watch list from yesterday and today it continued making a push higher but why is it on watch let's go to the daily um it broke the three dollar level it's currently trading above the three dollar level it closed at 299 so if it can break through this uh today's high then it's got room all the way to four possibly 450 as you can see pr previous rejections here so nndm on watch for tomorrow and the keyword here is on watch it has to give us a solid entry and it needs to look strong tomorrow mvis guys has been on an uptrend recently it's had this little uptrend here and you know it kind of it's kind of curling back up so i'm thinking over the 275 level if it gets and breaks 275 and holds it's got room to three and 350 which is uh 345 has been the the 52 week high so um i'm gonna be looking at mvis tomorrow for a possible entry and we'll see what happens with it uh, of course it has to have some good volume in there and a good setup htbx is another one uh which hasn't broken down you can see that i have this level here where it has shown support and it looks like it's trying to reverse its course right now uh it's right below that 50 ema so i'm thinking my thought process for tomorrow my entry if it works is if it breaks that 50 level at 135 probably enter at 135 between 135 and 137 maybe even you, your buying zone would be from 135 through 140 depending on how it breaks and holds over that level and if it does and of course you had a little bit of volume today at 7 million so if the relative volume starts increasing tomorrow and it breaks through these levels there's room all the way up to 60 guys previous rejection here so uh, I, I do see and i'm trying to picture the next candle with the right conditions how it's going to form and in my opinion if the conditions are are correct and they're they're prime then i do see some kind of candle like like this guys um again it's probably wishful thinking but if the conditions are good remember that there's a lot of shorts probably in here you know probably some more that came in here so you it, it, it wouldn't surprise me to see a bit of a squeeze up to the 160 maybe even 180 we'll see we'll see tomorrow so uh htbx on watch for tomorrow for for a day trade guys um one more that i have is sol sol uh pretty much we're playing the uptrend here let me get the right tool we're playing the uptrend right here guys and you can see that it's uh, been making higher lows and now um, if it can break that four dollar level and then break that 52 week high it has room to 450 possibly even higher so sol on watch 
for tomorrow guys and that is all i have for today um again don't forget to like and subscribe if, if you haven't done so also go ahead and check out www.psc13.com sign up for free a free newsletter that's uh it'll be posted randomly guys uh every other day we'll be sending out newsletters with free information on trading free information on uh, on trade ideas and and you name it so we're gonna be having this for you all for free completely free of charge and it's just to help uh, new traders and struggling traders with their trading knowledge and just little beats and uh, pieces here so that you all can start integrating it into your trading into your daily trading so guys again this is all i have for you we'll see you tomorrow at the open hope everybody has a green day tomorrow and we'll catch you in the next one